Brian Birch here with WMTY 98.3 here at Sweetwater High School, joined by Sweetwater Athletics Director Caleb Norwood and backed by popular <laughs> demand. Very popular. Did some interviews last week talking <laughs> about uh, talk baseball. We've got some uh, interviews coming up with softball, um, also soccer. But we also talked about uh, renovations in one of our uh, videos, interviews, and uh, popular demand. Mm -hmm. We're back for part two of that. Uh, to talk more, uh, we talk baseball because that's the project at hand. Right. Getting that turf done, and hopefully that's done by opening day. Uh, but then there's some other things going on, too. You, we briefly touched on uh, a softball and soccer, and mm -hmm. there's all kinds of fields out here in the back. Oh, and so yeah. just getting a little more in detail, uh, we'll talk well, baseball first. Right. Talk about that again is that um, they're trying down to the wire, uh, trying to get that thing done. It's a uh – it's been a back and forth between me and the coaches all day long trying to get people here to work on it. looks like we've got an army out there trying to push this thing across the finish line and get there uh, for the first pitch, which is supposed to take place this evening. Uh, so they tell me we'll get there. I, I think that they – I believe in them, and I think they'll get there. Uh, so fences are going up. They're rolling the outfield. The turf installation is done. Uh, so we should have opening day of baseball here in just a few hours. And the last, uh, and you can go back and watch that, the last interview we talked about renovations in this turf, we talked about financially what that does for you as far as upkeep of grass and the right. field and all that and how this helps long run. But it is an expensive price tag for turf. But one thing I want to make uh, really clear, too, is this is being done uh, through fundraising by parents right. and also is just as important – people in the community that don't even have a kid out here right. that's that's putting their money on the line to make yeah. these renovations happen. Yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of people involved in it and this this process, you know, we're just seeing the end results of it now. This process probably started 3 or 4 years ago with so when they started fundraising the money, started talking about the turf, uh taking the steps that they needed to take to buy this turf at a cheap price and you know they did their homework. They looked around. They found the best price. Uh, they looked at different installers. They tried to go the best route with that. Uh, you know, when you start talking about a big price tag on something and you can cut some dollars off in different places, well, you're going to try to do that. And the parents, the booster club, they've spearheaded this operation, and we're just glad to kind of guide them along as as they get towards the end of it here. Yeah, I just want to make that clear. The school's involved. Yep. Just the parents, community leaders, community folks in the community that are helping make this, really making this happen. Right. Yep, for sure. Talk about some other facilities, uh, softball, got some things going on there. Yep. Uh, had a, I think they had a work day this weekend. We got some new paint on the other concession, other concessions, at other dugout. So back uh, when the storm blew through, I guess last spring, we lost the roof of the one of the dugouts closest to the baseball field. Well, they got that replaced and painted, and it looks brand new. Well, it made the other dugout look horrible. So mm -hmm. we came back with some fresh coat of paint, put it on there. Uh, they're going to get an update to their press box uh, with some new stairs on the back side of it. And then, of course, you've got the, the viewing deck that is going to be used for softball as well. Uh, so they've got their foul poles painted, new pressure washing out there, new bleachers for them as well. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's, it's a work in progress, but happy with the steps we're taking there. So folks have some questions about the scoreboard at the soccer field. Yep. You're already on that. Some yep. things are in the works on that. Yeah, last week uh, we sent in an intent form to central office uh, to start the process of buying a new scoreboard. So we've got some quotes in. Uh, there's some fundraising taking place to do that. And hopefully, uh, I'm not by this, you won't have anything this spring, but hopefully when the girls take the field in the fall, we'll have a new scoreboard. At least that's my plan anyway. Okay. Anything else going on uh, out there, out back of the fields? Yeah, uh, and the only, only field we've not touched on is the uh, football complex. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're not getting new turf or anything like that <laughs> right now. Uh, Shout maybe, out Dustin Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, maybe down down the road now. Uh, we are in the process, the early stages of redoing the field house. So okay. uh, the coach's office is going to get a facelift. The locker room is going to get a facelift. There might be a new addition. As far as I say addition, we're going to use the existing space, uh, but maybe put in something pretty cool there. And, of course, the, the locker room that was done, uh, I guess, a couple of seasons ago mm -hmm. uh, that Coach Martin and Coach Weaver carried out. Uh, so that that – 
area is great. We want the rest of the field house to match that area. And I had nothing to do with this, but uh, the press box at the football field eventually going to have some yeah. things done to it. Yeah, definitely before the year starts, <clears throat> we're going to get a fresh coat of paint. We're going to get some door facings up there. I know all the pressure I put on you. <laughs> I kid, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I know it's uh, hard to do radio without being able to close the door. So <laughs> that, that should be interesting. But no, uh, We've, we, they've done some things up there. Yeah, There's new flooring in there. Looks good. Uh, we've just got to finish that project, maybe put some new windows in, things mm-hmm. like that. But the, we're always looking looking for different ways to improve the, all those facilities. So the community can get involved. Parents certainly getting involved uh, to help make these things happen. Uh, you're an open book. If they have a question, Absolutely. they can call and ask you yep. if this is being done or what about this? How can I help? That's a question you like to yeah. ask too. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, and I dove into it in our last interview, but you know I'm here eight to three. If you if you've got questions or you want to yeah. help out, call in here, and I'll be glad to give tours of facilities, and we'll go look at different things and and find somewhere that uh, you know everybody can pitch in. Sweetwater Athletics Director Caleb Norwood with us, part two of our renovations discussion. Had to come back with part two. People was all over it, so <laughs> hopefully they'll be all over this one. If you have any questions that you would like answered. Let us know. Let Caleb know. We'll be happy to help you get that information as you listen right here on WMTY Sports.